Alright, folks, I'm deciding to do you a favor and do you a video. And I'm not, I'm just putting some stupid stuff on the screen for you. Uh, this is the Cube or Cube, C O U B, C O U B videos, which are in Russian. And I'm not a Russian agent, but I'm going to give you a video and let you know what's going on. All right. You got a lot of crap going on. You got explosions all over the world. You got uh, coronavirus all over the world. You got kids going back to school all over the world. And uh, you have uncertainty. And you got people messing with your lives. You're going to get some money. You're not going to get some money. And you're probably barely surviving like all of the American people in the United States. But they got certain rules and restrictions. And you will get the virus you will get the test. They will force you to. Don't tell me that you're not going to go get food for your family if you don't go get the test. You're going to be like, I resist. I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm not going to do this. You will do it, and you will obey, and you will follow. You're not going to go out in the woods in your truck, in your uh, Jeep, or in your self-sustainable vehicle and you're going to survive by yourself or no you're actually you're going to survive with you your mother your father your sister your cousin your brothers your, your nieces and nephews and everybody's going to survive okay you're not going to do it you, you can say it you can be big right now but you're not going to do it you're going to comply you will comply they have got you, baby. What, are you going to run for the border? You think those fences were put up to put the uh, keep the Mexicans out? No, they were to keep you in. You are kept in, baby. You ain't going nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. Okay. Nowhere. Don't be saying okay. Okay, I got somebody over here saying okay. No, you're not going nowhere. You're going to sit right here in your in your little armchair and you're going to listen to the government and they're going to put the the five grandmas on you, the, you know, the five grandmas. Or they're going to put the the C cocky, cocky, locky 19 and you will take it. You're not going to do nothing about it. What are you going to do? You're going to go without food. How much food do you got? You got two cans, three, four or five cans of food. Do you have a can opener? Are you going to eat it cold? You going to eat some cold SpaghettiOs? I doubt it. You will comply. You're going to do what they say. And you, you might as well be happy about it. Oh, you're mad. Oh, you're going to be a Karen. You're going to be a Kevin. Oh, I'm not going to wear my mask. Uh, you you will wear your mask when they go, hey, you're dying. We found out something, and you're dying. You're going to put your little baby mask on, and you're going to be a little baby good boy, a baby little good girl. And Richie from Boston is not going to save you because that dude saved himself. He headed out. He knew when it was time to do it. So what are you going to do? You're going to sit in Wyoming or Ohio or California or Mississippi or Florida or Texas. And, okay, I got my gun, but now I can't get no ammo because the ammo has been, it's been years, multiple years. They told you there was no ammo, ammo shortages. Now we can't even put Cokes, Diet Coke, Coke, anything in an aluminum can because we got our aluminum and our tin from uh, China, whatever. So, you will obey, you will follow, and tell me you're not. I dare one of you to tell me you're not going to comply. You're not going to... I'll see, I'll let you come down here for two weeks, okay? I want to see how long you can survive out in 112 degree heat during the uh, uh, heat index, 112 degrees. 
you're not prepared. You're not going to be prepared. And if you've waited this long, you've waited too late. You might as well just go ahead and uh, opt out. If you don't know what opting out is, there's resources on that. Okay? Okay. I've got people saying, okay, are you ready to opt out? Ma'am. Ma'am, you want to be in on the interview? I'm not filming you. I'm just, you don't, oh, this person said they don't want to be on the interview, but, you know, they're, they're not ready to opt out. Okay, today we got called and said, uh, you have a medical emergency. Get to the hospital immediately. You're probably dying and everything. Go over there. And they brought a person in and said, oh, well, uh, you got to sit here for eight, nine hours. And then there's people coming in saying they got the COVID and they test a positive. But they have no rooms in the hospital, they say. Whether they do or not, I don't know. I've seen the medevac, the helicopter come in. And, you know, and there was people getting shot, people in car accidents. I can understand it, whatever. But, you know, they're like, so we go there, sit eight, nine hours. I sit out in the hot in a vehicle, nine hours, because they won't let but one person come in with the person. So nine hours out in 110 degree heat and there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere. You can't go anywhere. You have to have a mask. You have to have all the stuff. No, I went to the mall. Yeah. And, but I got tired of, 